Psalms 55. Everybody be ready. Psalms 55. With the Most High's permission. Psalm of David. Give ear to my prayer, O God, and hide not thyself from my supplication. And unto me, hear me, I mourn in my complaint and make a noise because of the voice of the enemy, because of the oppression of the wicked. For they cast iniquity upon me, and in wrath they hate me. My heart is sore pain within me, and the terrors of death are fallen upon me. Fearfulness and trembling are come upon me, and horror have overwhelmed me. And I said, oh, that I had wings like a dove, for then would I fly away and be at rest. Lo, then would I wander far off and remain in the wilderness. Selah, I would hasten my escape from the windstorm and tempest. Destroy, O oh Lord, and divide their tongues, for I have seen violence and strife in the city. Day and night they go about it upon the walls thereof. Mischief also and sorrow are in the midst of it. Wickedness is in the midst thereof. Deceit and guile depart not from her streets. For it was not an enemy that reproached me. Then I could have borne it. Neither was it he that hated me, that did magnify himself against me. Then would I have hid myself from him. But it was thou, a man, my equal, my God and my acquaintance, we took sweet counsel together and walked into the house of the Most High in company. <laughs> let death seize upon them and let them go down quick in the hell, for wickedness is in their dwellings and among them. As for me, I will call upon the Most High and the Lord shall save me. Evening and morning and at noon will I pray and cry aloud and he shall hear my voice. He hath delivered my soul in peace from the battle that was against me, for there were many with me. The Most High shall hear and afflict them, even he that abided of old. Say lie, because they have no changes, therefore they fear not God. He hath put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. He hath broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Mm. But thou, O Yah, shall bring them down into the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half their days. Mm -hmm. But I will trust in thee. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Selah! Just gonna touch, touch on a couple of light subjects before we hit the topic at hand. Got to, uh, a few uh, dress code, and this is just from something that we had a visitor a couple weeks ago came down to the other spot. He mentioned something about women and pants and just the dress code of men. So we want to get that clear and get this understood. And there's Romans 14, we got to understand there's something called consciousness or within our consciousness as Israelites. We all ain't going to agree on the same thing. We have to agree on the same thing because two can walk together. Uh, two can't walk together unless they agree. Eh? Three, three. So we have, we have to understand that first and foremost. But the second thing, what I mean is on the righteousness of the law. If, if you say, okay, I think well, we should have no skin on chicken, but you say the law about dietary don't say remove the skin. So we can have, if your conscience tell you, I want to remove the skin, then you fine with that. Right. We, we ain't gonna get into those petty things. What, what is solid though, is what bird we can eat. Right. How you prepare that bird is up to you. If your consciousness tell you, I don't want no skin on mine, but, Mind tell me, okay, it's good. The law says that I can eat chicken. You know what I'm saying? 
So it's not that point. We're not going to get that petty and the things say, no, brother, you must remove the skin. And that. that ain't in the scripture. Right. Right. What's in Leviticus, you know, it's in Leviticus 3 and 5 and 7 that tells us about what organs we can't eat. Because we're not to eat organ meat, any <coughs> organ that blood filters through, which is the kidneys and liver. Right. They are, and the heart. They are blood filters, and blood flows through them continuously. So even through a cow or whatever, the good meat we're supposed to eat. So we know, and they're fat, they're all fat, you know, the heart is muscle, but the blood flows through it on a continuous basis, so we can't have that. But what we're talking about is what, what the law say about that and where the fat. And Leviticus will get in there and will tell you the fat above the liver, which is the stomach. So, you know, does that mean no tripe? You know, we have to look at it, it says call, C-A-U-L. But we'll hit those, y'all, just so we can get an understanding. But as long as we in line with Deuteronomy 11, I mean Deuteronomy 14, yeah. Is this the side door still open over there when we came in? Uh, yeah. side door That's the door everybody have to come through today. That door every day. The side door. The side door. Not the back door. Not the back door. The back door, the back door. we can't come through. The back door is always going to be locked. Tell them to go all the way down. They need to come through the double glass doors on the side. Tell them all the way across by the police station. They open the door? Yeah, he's standing right there. Who is it? Security guard, young guy. No, nah, come on the union side. Yeah. Come on the union side. We don't want to be responsible for leaving yeah. that door open. Oh, okay. You okay. know, so that that they inform us just come through the double. It's easier that way anyway, because we walk a step just down the hall right. to the left. Right. So if you come through that back door, you're gonna you're gonna be twisting and turning. Them but, come in on the union side. Right. So right. y'all, right. we just want to get a little bit right. of that right. to get that understood. That uh, our diet is very important, but when we hit this Romans 14 to understand to him, like say to one, a feast day is this and that. It's not saying you you can eat whatever you want on a feast day. It's just saying according to the law. If your consciousness tells you, look, I don't mix corn with this. Well, corn is legal to eat. If you decide you don't want that, you can't force me to put corn on this side of my plate. You know, and we're not into that. The same as we talk about head covering for women. They ain't got to cover your head. We're not going to force you to cover your head. But if you pray or prophesy down here, you're going to be covered. Or we have to ask you to leave because we have to do things as a group in order. But if you ain't going to say nothing, but when we stand up and pray, you have to do it until we get to an understanding. What's up now? Oh, oh, oh. So many, you know, we many many space to understand that they don't order. Ain't no marching and saluting to nobody. Right, right. Ain't none of that. So this is free will and this is consciousness. Your conscience will bear witness against you, not us. Your conscience should judge you. Let a man judge himself. And what we're going to judge is according to the law. So this was the deal. We had a sister come down. She was out of New York campus. She mentioned, I see a lot of your sisters in pain. So we want to deal with that and understand that from the law perspective about that so that we don't get entangled into anything other than what the law says we're supposed to do. Because it's a very fine line, but it's easily understood once we get into it. And the, and the example that they use, see, it's that sneak back to earn. And if you can't catch earn, if you still stuck in the schoolmaster yourself, it's going to be a problem. We got to get out of the schoolmaster, and we didn't graduate from the schoolmaster. We deal with the, with the professor now. Yeah, it's time to be more mature in our walk. That's right. And that's all it is. The professor, and he's Christ. So we have to deal with him versus keep running back to Moses, because that's only a, a shadow of things to come. So let's just hit a little bit of that Romans 14. Hey, you heard What you saying, bro? I got it on top of the oh. And y'all will get a good understanding of what Paul is saying here. And we'll get a good understanding, clearly, that no way, shape, or form has Paul ever told us to break the law. Right. Now, he ain't never did it, or he would have been accused of it. And the show would have been laid down on the line. We what Paul what is constantly talking about is circumcise the heart first. Please do that. I don't care what's coming out of your mouth, how you're looking on that, if it's the psalm alley just read. It ain't going to be my enemy because we watching the enemy. It ain't going to be the media because you're watching the media. It's the psalm David speaking. It was my own friend.
three, my companion that we dealt with, we said in the same Bible study class, that's what we got to watch. You know, and, and, and the only thing you got to watch is yourself. Watch your consciousness. And then that other one can't get at you. It's just when you let your guards down. And we can't let our guards down because Christ said let the chaff grow up with the wheat. So that means we can't play no separation game with nobody. Y'all, y'all can't come. Y'all can't do this. Now, if you're not above uh, with this doctrine, these 613 laws, then no. But if you are a part of it, we have to get on the same mindset, y'all, that we don't have this inner fight amongst each other. Oh, petty, oh, petty, it's too petty. Let's hit that wrong with 14, 1. The book of Romans, chapter 14, verse 1. Everybody get there. How we looking? We there? Romans 14 and 1. Him that is weak in the faith receive you, but not to doubtful disputation. Now the key word there, him that is weak in the faith. What is the faith? Mm. Mm. The oh, faith okay. is the belief in Christ. Right. Mm -hmm. That's the faith. That's the only faith we got. It ain't no other faith out here that's worthy of anything. Mm -hmm. So that's the first tip off. Him that is weak in the faith. So we're not talking about no other doctrine or just somebody just don't know. Script. We're talking about they have accepted Christ as the Lord and Savior, the only begotten of the Father. If they weaken that, they look slow on getting to understand, and then we have to deal with them a different way. Let's get some more. But not to doubtful disputation. Right, and doubtful disputation is just making up stuff. You know, if they mind is on this, you can't deal with that foolishness. You know, Proverbs 25, verse 4 and 5 lets us understand don't deal with uh, craziness on the time like that. You deal with it when you have to, but don't become a, a fool. Like when we first got here, Mally them out there banging with, with an older guy out there. He don't believe half the life. The next breath, he's going to quote Joe. Right. No, you can't be a benefit believer. How you gonna quote what's good for you? But then when we quote something, no, I don't believe that. That's a benefit believer. It's all or nothing. With these scripts, let's get some more back. Verse 2, for one believeth that he may eat all things. Another who is weak eateth herbs. So first thing we're talking about, there's not all things like every meat on the planet, because it started off with faith. Faith is Deuteronomy 14. Exactly. Leviticus 11 is the dietary law. Right. So that's the faith. Ain't no other faith for us to eat any other meat outside this diet. Good point. No mm -hmm. faith outside this. Mm -hmm. So this is where our focus has to be. That the whole conversation is on this. So what we got here is one believe he can eat all things, all everything on the clean diet. We got another one saying we ought to be vegetarians. Because we was there at the beginning of Genesis 1. Right. Right. At the beginning, we were vegetarians. No, we would never on a level like that. So we have to understand, then we have to get out of what we used to be to what Christ is telling us we need to be according to the law. You know, so we, we'll be cool on that. Let, let's get some more of that. Verse 3, let not him that eateth despise him that eateth not. And let not him which eateth not judge him that eateth. For God hath received him. God only receives sanctification. There, unless they find where unclean meat have been made holy, and the only way you can do that is called sanctification. Thy mm -hmm. word sanctifies and wash clean. Mm -hmm. All you just ask them, just show me what pork has been made clean. In the word. And sanctified. Get that. that. Ephesians 5, too. Please uh, clean that up. David talked about it, too. Go ahead. Let's I'll get that first 10. First 10. Chapter 4. Verse and that's another one they're going to go to as far as it goes right along with this Romans starting off of that, that first 10 before they'll run to that and say, this tells us we can eat everything. But there's a key word in that one too. Yeah. The truth. And the one, truth. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and then make, make, sure, make sure they always go down and we'll start at verse 1 when they read this first 10. Right. 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 Gotcha. So they'll, they'll jump to 4 and then you'll be looking at it on face value and be like, uh, you can eat whatever. Right. I can pray over whatever. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But well, like we asked the one brother, so if you was dead and I was hungry, I could chop you up and eat you? That's mm -hmm. right. Does that mean that? Does that mean all meat? Or does all that mean? Meat. Right. It's cannibalism meat. Right. Right. Uh, them pygmies, they'll read the same thing now. What are you saying here, man? Right. <laughs> now, it says here that I can have a, a good Hebrew with some potatoes and right. green <laughs> beans around the side of it. I mean, Jeffrey Dahmer did it, didn't he? Oh, yeah, he loved his man. He loved his Hebrews. Can't eat no good brother without no candy yams. 
Let's get it, man. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith. Oh, so we got here the Spirit is speaking. And what Spirit are we talking about? The Holy Spirit. Right. That's what we're talking about. Come on in, y'all. We have a couple seats, y'all. We get some more seats. We got plenty more seats all around this room. If we run out, y'all uh, seats up here. Y'all put y'all bags up underneath. Y'all need to. And we're in uh, Romans four. We're going to Romans. I mean, we're in First Ten four now. And our, our subject of the day is going to be dreams and visions. We want to get right to that and get some clear understanding. There's a lot of misunderstanding concerning Deuteronomy uh, 18, concerning what we're not to touch, the horoscope, the necromancy, but there's going to be questions concerning that because some things took place. And the, the naysayers are pointing to them, ain't this necromancy y'all doing right here? So we want to be clear. We want to clear all that up, but we're going to knock these few out right here right quick. Go ahead, Master. I mean, uh, oh, oh, that in the latter time some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits mm -hmm. and doctrines of devils. So heed to seducing spirits. Y'all, this is a spiritual world. Right. It's calm, but it's being controlled by spirits. We just right. started off with the Holy Spirit that you must have dwell within you to be able to be on the same level of righteousness and understanding that. So there's evil spirits mentioned in the book of uh, Enoch as well as all uh, Genesis 6 chapter that still roam this earth waiting for a body to control. Spiritual wicked. Like Ephesians chapter 6 as well. That's Spiritual right. wickedness. And how crazy. If y'all don't think these things are being controlled by the dark side, you better think of evil. But when we get into this, y'all will understand all of this perfectly. So it's saying in a lot of days because of witchcraft and the knowledge of the internet that we have that you are finding out things are uncovered but Daniel was told this in the last days in the last days knowledge is going to explode right. knowledge is explode called the information highway you can find out anything what's up so we 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 going to understand that clearly what's up bro let's get a little bit more of that we're in, we're in first Tim chapter 4 verse 2 Speaking lies in a pocket. What they speaking? Lies in a pocket. A lie is not the truth. I don't right. care if it's this. 0.9%. That's still a lie. Truth is a hundred. All day long, it ain't gonna never change. Truth don't take a back seat to nothing. Truth is absolute. And always woods. 99.9 .9 may have a flaw in it. A little leaven, a leaven a whole lot. So that little 1% you let go could cause a problem with this, with that hunt. We don't ever want to get into that, into that level of it, so we want to keep it where it's at, an absolute 100. So it's saying right here that the lies and hypocrisy have crept in with false doctrine. Let's get some more of that. Let's go again. Speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience served with the hot iron, forbidding to marry, and commanding to abstain from me. So mm -hmm. forbidding to marry, and what we're talking about, we gotta look at this always spiritual, is to marry the head of the body for man, which is Christ. Men are brides. So we have to understand that there ain't no effeminate type of thing. It's just the Almighty is the head of Christ, Christ the head of man, man the head of woman. In marriage, we have to understand that Jeremiah 3.14, we are married to Christ. Revelation 19, when, when the bridegroom comes, you know, and, and we in the body of the church meet him, male and female, spiritually, we are his bride. We got to understand that. So uh, we are forbidden to marry, meaning I, I don't believe in nothing. You know, uh, uh, this pencil could be God. You know, stay away from that madness. They are forbidden to marry first spiritually and on the next level, the complications, maybe, you know, you're looking at this. Well, I don't want to get married because of this. Well, on the corner level. Oh, yeah, I'm I'm church. Church. And the Catholic Church is right. That's on the spirit level. Well, they priests don't get married. But our doctrine tell us that a bishop or a deacon, which is on the high level, one wife, you know, can multiply and get a whole bunch of them and then you take care of the, the work of the most high. 
That's not speaking to the common priest men who we all are holy priests. But when you take on a new role of a bishop or a deacon, you're moving up to another level and saying, the majority of my service is going to be right here, locked down in the body of the church. I'm going to be available for that. That don't mean his role is higher than your role if you just a brother spreading the word on the street. That's what you're doing to complete the body. He's just taking on with to much is given, much is expected. So if you want more than you get, be ready to handle what you want to take on. You can't give it back. Let's get some more of that. Verse 3 again. Forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from me, which God has created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. So what do we believe in and know the truth in? What's the truth, the truth of diet? Ain't no other diet in the body. They need to show us where it says you can eat anything you want. And it's been sanctified. Sanctified means to make holy. Or clean. Or to make clean. Set apart. Set apart. So what is clean according to the word of God? Right here. What is the truth? So y'all don't let them try to trick you up with that one and think that you can do whatever you want. It's, and the key word there is conscience. They're playing on your conscience. I knew you used to like big way, big mama used to fix them poor child, smother them great than others. Think about it. Just think about it. No, what you think about is how your head used to swing. They used to have that nausea taste in your mouth like you about to throw up. Think about that. Right. Think about that. What? If you think about the good times you used to have with your partner. Smoking dope and doing things you ought not be doing that takes all of your money away where you can't live. Not telling you what you can't do, but if what you are doing, gambling, drinking, or whatever, if what you are doing is causing a problem with where you lay your head at, you got to get some moderation on that. You got to get some moderation on it. 